Hello. I recently participated in the Sci-Fi London 48 Hour Film Challenge, uh, which involves producing end-to-end a film over a weekend, and it nearly killed me. But I did learn quite a lot. Uh, one of one of the things I'd like to share here today, uh, and that is using the CC Power Pin to not only track the uh, to track a piece of footage onto the helmet prop, but also to track the reflection of the original helmet prop trimmed in back on top. So let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is track our handily marked up gaffer tape bits on the corner of the welding prop. So let's, with our footage selected, go to tracker, track motion, and we're going to have, from transform, we're going to use perspective corner pin. And there we have our four tracking points. I'm just going to move them into the center of the gaffer tape area, like so. Okay, with that done, let's hit track. Okay, track is done. I'm just going to close these footage panels. And we have, if we hit U on the keyboard, our lovely tracking data. And we need to go about creating some nulls just to attach this motion to. So we can go to layer, new, null. And I'm going to name it top left, or TL for short. And I'm going to control D to duplicate that four times and go TR for top right, BL and BR. Now we can take the position data, all of those things, hold down Alt and click the position stopwatch. Well, bottom right, uh, the trackers go one, two, three, four. So we want feature center number four. So we can use the pick whip tool and attach it like so. And it's attached there. Again, bottom left, pick whip. And it's attached there. Alt click, pick whip. And for the last one, there we go. Cool. And we have our nulls following our motion data. But we don't want to stop there. What we want to do is create another set of four nulls as to use as offset nulls. So let's go layer, new, null object. And I'm going to call this top left dash offset and I'm going to duplicate that four times four times and I'm just going to call this uh, top right bottom left bottom right and then we're just going to parent the offsets using the parent links here directly to their related tracked nulls cool and now when we select this item so the bottom right we can choose to have it there Bottom left, here, top right, here, top left, here. Just tweak, tweakity tweak, tweak to tweak. And that gives us the four corners of where the screen will appear. Okay, cool. So let's get our screen element which is already animated here and fire up not the corner pin but the cc power pin 
And now we need to attach the uh, corners of our distortion effect to the offset nulls. So if we hold down Alt and click top left, we have a little expression here. And we're going to do L equals top left. And then we're going to use L to world. L dot anchor point. That expression just makes sure that our power pin is using the world position coordinates of the nulls we just created. Uh, I know it looks broken here, but um, what we can do is just zero out the position and anchor points, and then we should be good to go. Now let's do the same for the others. And there we have it. We have our tracked element sticking to the offset nulls of which we can continually adjust and also keyframe over time to taste. Okay, great. But now what we want to do is use the almighty and all powerful unstretch feature of the power pin. And we're going to do, we're going to use that in a way so we can get the reflection here to appear on top of our footage. As if we just go to add mode now, we can see that it, it would look really cool, but obviously we don't want the green markers. We don't want the other add effect to apply onto anything else. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our corner pin effect, copy and paste it onto the footage and then use unstretch for this horrendous effect but you can see how we're going to use this in a moment let's just click and pre-compose move it all into a new comp which will break it so let's just copy and paste these also into the new comp so it knows what it's doing now let's do let's create a shape layer on top no sorry let's do Control alt y for an adjustment layer bring up our transform bring up our effects and search for and search for transforms i can't speak today um uncheck uniform scale and let's just get rid of our green markers like so now let's create a shape on top this is to create a feathered mask for all layers let's go blend mode stenciled alpha and then here we can just put like a, a fast blur or something then we jump back to our main comp and then once again we take our power pin distortion copy and repaste it on top and there we have our screen reflecting like so then we can change that to add mode bring up levels you know tweak the the gamma and the black point a little bit so it doesn't look so strong might want to turn turn it down a bit too cool so hopefully this little video walkthrough was handy to someone um i think it'll probably be handy to me as well because i have a terrible memory and it'll be always good to refer back to um if you'd like to watch the film it was done for a uh, the london 48 hour film challenge uh, 48 hour challenge um it was done in 48 hours so over a weekend of which my part uh i think was done from 6 p.m to 6 a.m it really killed me but you know i learned a lot from it so i can't complain too much and it was really great fun working with such a fantastic group of people anyway i'll leave a link in the video description if you'd like to take a look and thanks for watching